eat this? Yeah, slurp that shit up. <laughs> Roy, what are you doing in there? Come on, get out. No? All right, Luke is working hard over here, doing something. Andrew's over there, working hard as well, doing nothing. <laughs> Today, we are going to flock the dash, but before we do that, we gotta take out the dash. So, should be an easy process, I hope. Uh, as you can tell, there's a massive crack right there, so that's why we are flocking it. All right, right here, we got the material. This stuff looks super itchy, so hopefully I don't get any on me. We got the glue, we got this tool right here that uh, I guess you kind of just put some of that stuff in there and you do, you, you just shoot it on. Yeah, you kind of just jerk it and it shoots uh, black stuff onto the dash. And then uh, we got a brush for the glue. So let's start with the dash. So Luke gave me a little rundown uh, yesterday on how to take out the dash. There's a couple bolts like here and there. I know there's like three where the vent is. Uh, there's one right here somewhere. So one right here, one on the other side, two behind the speedo, and uh, stuff like that. So let's just start taking shit apart. First, let's lower this. There you go. You're sitting on all your shit. Okay, well, we got the bottom piece of the steering wheel uh, whatever you guys call this. Let's see if the top piece comes up. Maybe if we bring it down. All right, brought it down a little bit. Should slide out, I hope. Uh, no, it does not slide out. Hmm. Let me figure this out, guys. Be right back. All right, guys, we got it out. Um, it just came off loose. I just needed two hands. Up next, um, I see two holes right here. One and two. I feel like if I take out the screws, uh, I think that would do something. So let's try it out. All right, guys, take out these two screws. Uh, did nothing. Um, this piece right here is loose, but uh oh, oh shit, something happened. Okay, you know what? I think I have to take out the actual dash first before this comes out. So uh, yeah, so. Right here, we got a bolt. Uh, I know there's three underneath the vents and there should be one on the other side. So let's do that real quick and see if anything changes. Oh, fuck, cracked. Sick ass. Look at that. Oh well, let's see if we can try to fix it. I don't think we can. All right, guys, I think I got everything out, but it's not moving. Um, I think there's one more bolt in there. Uh, that one right there. I'm going to take it out, and uh, I'm going to see if it does anything. All right, guys, we got that bolt out. Uh, didn't do anything, but you know what? I actually remembered Luke saying that there is a couple bolts behind the Speedo. So I did spend a good amount of time trying to take this out. You got to be really careful with this because it could snap like right here. And you don't want to do that, so. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna try to take this out without breaking it. Uh, I'll give you guys an update right after. Thanks, Luke. I was having such a hard time trying so, to. So here, do this. Drop the steering column now, so you can get this around. I think this is this is max all the way down. You want to bolt it? Oh, I'm bolt it. Yeah. So there's there's these bolts are here. Uh -huh. Under those, and this will drop down. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. And just be careful of the wiring when you lower it, so it doesn't break. <laughs> got it, got it. Alright, I'm gonna do that real quick. But then guys. you yeah, because then you'll be able to flip this forward and it'll be easier to get to the back side of that. Sounds good. Alright, cool. Thanks. 
steering rack is loose. Uh, I just unbolted the two bolts right here. The two bolts in the back, uh, I just loosened it. I didn't take it out all the way, but it did drop. Oh shit, yeah, so look, check this out. Oh fuck, now it's stuck on something. Oh, I'm gonna need two hands. Actually, no, fuck it. Come on, don't break on me. Don't break on me. All right, I'm gonna need two hands, be right back. Oh yeah, guys, we got it out without breaking anything. You know what, I think I'm just gonna clean this up and spray it with some like really glossy black, so. Yeah, we'll save this for another day. Well, if we have time in this video, then we could do it in this video, but let's just set that aside. Up next, let's take out the Speedo so that we can adjust the mileage, bring it all the way down to zero. So I think this bolt right here, or that screw, that screw, and this screw. Let's pull this out without breaking anything. Okay, now we just unplug it. All right, guys, we got it out. I also took out this plastic cover. Earlier I was emptying on gas, now I got a full tank. By the way guys, this is super illegal. Uh, don't do this. Oh, I can't even move it. Oh well. Alright guys, I think we got everything out. Fingers crossed. Oh, no man. Wait, wait, wait. Bro, we gotta pull my pants. Just fucking yank it out. Handbrake's in the way. Wow. I the pressure. It's so easy. And look. That's not even that bad. The good, the good thing about a, a vert is I could just do this and not have to, like, you know, when I did it in mind, you did. pull it out of the door. But uh, yeah, it was pretty easy. I'm gonna pop off all these vents. And after we're done with that, we're gonna bondo this. Let it dry, sand it down, get it smooth, and then we can throw the flock on. I don't know if you guys can see, but the cracks kind of go like this, almost like a volcano. I'm gonna sand that down, smoothen it out, and then we're gonna put some body filler on top of that. Just sand it down a little bit. All right guys, it's sanded down nice and smooth. Let's put on the Bondo. Uh, don't try to use a Pokemon card to spread Bondo. It doesn't work out that well But we're done. All right guys, I'm gonna give the Bondo another hour to dry for the meantime We're gonna go over to this piece right here. I still got some leftover paint from the carpet So we're gonna spray this and hopefully we can bring it back to life and after that We can work on the doors. So for the doors all we got to do is just spray it uh, There are some cracks which I think we will just sand it down and Bondo and hopefully we can bring this back to life Ooh. Guys, so I did the total opposite of bringing it back to life. I actually managed to make it look way worse. What did I do? I think I know what happened. Uh, if you paint in cold weather, this is gonna happen. So yeah, I think I messed up. But I will fix this, I promise. Uh, tomorrow when it's a little bit warmer, respray it. And hopefully we can bring it back to life. All right guys, we are back. Uh, let's continue this project. So um, before we sand down that Bondo over there, uh, I wanna try something. We're gonna spray the steering wheel with this fabric spray. I don't know if it's a good idea, but uh, we'll see, we'll find out. Uh, because I know I'll be touching the steering wheel a lot. So uh, I might like rub off the paint. I'll be the test dummy. So just in case if you guys have a like suede uh, steering wheel that's kind of like wearing down, if this does work out for me, then I'll let you guys know and then you guys can try this at home as well. Yep, this is how it looks like before. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna look good as soon as I finish painting it. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right guys, look at the steering wheel. It looks way better. I don't know why it was green earlier, but it looks like when I first bought it. What else should I paint? But he's not all the way black yet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm like, you should paint your shoes, dude. Those things are looking nasty. It's not a bad idea, actually. Let's do it real quick. Remember, one of the most important process in painting is the prep work. You wanna cover up everything so that uh, you don't get overspray on anything. So, let's go spray the shoes real quick.
All right, look at that. All done. Looking good. My socks are a little wet though. So I'll be shoeless for the next couple of hours. But, um, but yeah, no more messing around. Let's get, let's get back to work. Let's sand this. Guys, the sanding is all done so Luke says you don't need to sand it down like you don't have to go too crazy with the sanding because the way the material is it's just gonna cover up most like mostly everything so uh, if you guys look closely I did leave some bondo left over on the side but if I run my hand over it it doesn't feel like there's anything there so the transition from dash to bondo is pretty smooth so I think once we have the flock on there I don't think this would be noticeable at all so I think we're ready to go. Um, actually, I'm going to wet a towel, wipe it down real quick, and make sure that the surface is clean before we apply the glue and flock. So I'm going to wipe it down real quick, give it like 10 minutes to dry, wipe it down again, and then, and then we should be ready for flock. All right, guys, the moment that you guys all been waiting for, time to flock it. So I've got all my stuff right here. Got this, got the, what is, what is this called? Suede Tex. Got the brush for the glue, got the glue. Got the tool to spray the the, the 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 suede flex on. I laid down some plastic right here so that I don't make a huge mess. And this is my first time doing this, so I don't know how much uh, to kind of apply. And I don't want to put too much and end up like not having any more. So if I do drop some, we can easily pick it up and spray it back on. So uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. Hopefully it turns out nice. Mm, oh, directions. Yeah. Should I keep on going? Fuck it. All right, I think that's good enough for now. Set this aside, save it for later. All right, let's do this. guys damn it's looking good uh, I've used up most of the bag already and uh, I pretty much hit everything except for the side except for the side but uh, I did kind of miss a spot this is where the bondo used to be as you guys can see uh, I think I'm gonna let it dry add uh, some some glue right there or some of the resin and then spray and put some more uh, some more of this stuff on there and good thing I put this plastic here because uh, now I can collect whatever and then just add some more if I need it. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna go read the instructions and see what I gotta do next. All right guys, so this little piece right here, this little area that I missed right here, uh, Luke suggested that I just get an end of a zip tie and just kind of tap glue in there and throw some of the resin on top. So. I think that's a good idea. The instructions say you gotta wait 10 hours for this to dry. And I feel like if we wait 10 hours and we apply a coat of glue, it's just gonna look funky. So uh, I'm gonna try Luke's method. Thank you, Luke. 
uh, we're, just, we're just gonna dab some glue in there and then sprinkle some dust on there. All right guys, we are all done. No more crack dash, everything looks amazing. If you guys wanna do this at home, uh, you guys can find this at flockit.com. Uh, you guys can only buy this online because uh, I went to I went to AutoZone, I went to O'Reilly's, I went to Home Depot, could not find this stuff. And apparently it's because uh, it's, this is not a car product. Uh, I just heard from Luke that uh, NASCAR drivers or race car drivers and whatnot, they, uh, they apply this material on their dash so that they don't get any glare when they're racing. So somewhere down the line, somebody's like, oh, I'm gonna put this on my cracked dash and make it look nice. And it's becoming a thing. So if you guys wanna do this at home, you're gonna have to buy it online. So I'll leave a link to the website down in the description. And uh, yeah, try it out. My only advice when doing this is uh, apply the glue, like apply a like a smooth layer of glue and smoothen it out with a brush, and then apply a lot of flock on there. You can't go wrong with applying a lot. If you put like a small amount and it dries, you're gonna have a light spot that you can't really fix. So spread the glue evenly, and then spray a heavy amount. Make sure you guys have plastic on the ground just in case you guys use too much. Uh, if you guys use too much, you guys can like pick it back up and reuse it. But give it a good amount, uh, and then uh, once you guys are done with the whole dash, just shake it, shake the dash, all the extra will fall down, and then you guys can collect that and then and get all the spots that you guys missed. Overall, easy process, 40 bucks, clean dash. I'm happy with it. But like I said earlier in today's video, we're not gonna throw the dash back in yet because uh, we're gonna do the manual swap. do the manual swap so I'm gonna leave this outside to dry and we're gonna find something else to do all right guys so since we got nothing to do right now let's respray this the weather outside is a lot warmer than yesterday let's see let's see if we can bring this back to life guys I got bad news I made it worse again and I got even more bad news my shoes look hella ugly now hey Randy come check this out you done yeah sick it looks good it only took me 20 minutes dude 20 easy minutes? ass process is it really that easy yeah i've been actually kind of thinking about doing this to mine hold on you know what this looks like what something we asians don't have what i have an idea you ready man yeah Check it out. Ugh. All right, guys. <laughs> I don't know how I look yet. <laughs> you look great, dude. You look really? like a man. No way. <laughs> dude. What kind of lineup is this? This fucked up. Huh? That's like, what kind of lineup is this? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Hey, not gonna lie, why I got hair in my ear? <laughs> if I didn't have hair in my ear? We, we, I think, yeah, no, it, we should have taped off your ears. I didn't think about that part. When it when it shot out, it literally just flew and touched everything. But is this? You look like a 240 dash, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I need to wash this off. I don't know. Yeah, you blow your nose out. <laughs> God damn it, guys. So, remember this piece right here? The thing that, uh, the, the defroster vents. Well, I had them sitting right here. As I was moving my car, I accidentally flipped the windshield switch and it yeeted it across the room. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this is what happened. Fuck. So I heard LRB Speed sells um, replacement pieces. So I guess it's not the end of the world. This thing is already in really bad condition, so there's no point of saving it. Like, listen, oh my goodness. Look, that is so fragile. Oh my god. Oh, fuck that hair. Jeez. Oh, 
Jesus. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today's video. It's getting really late. We were, me and Randy, we were stuck on this little project right here for the past couple hours. It's like two o'clock right now. I'm getting really tired. Is it too early? Yeah. Yeah. Sad. Yeah, I was supposed to sleep early, fix my sleeping schedule, but damn, can never get a break. But at least the dash is looking amazing. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. You guys can do this at home as well for just $40. So if you guys have a cracked dash at home, I recommend doing this. It looks good. You approve? Yeah. It's only 40 bucks? Yeah, only four bucks. Uh, nice. Yep. Yeah, I was gonna work on the doors today, but it's getting late. So we will do that in the next video. Um, I ordered some diff diff plates. That's what that's what you call them, right? Uh, they are uh, yeah diff plates. Diff plates. Yeah, I'm planning on welding this diff. Uh, so if that comes in by tomorrow, then we'll do that instead of the doors. But if that doesn't come in, then we'll start. Uh, We'll start cleaning up the doors a little bit, and once that is done, uh, hopefully we can get started on the manual swap. I want to weld the diff first, so uh, the plan is weld the diff, fix the doors, and then manual swap. That's the plan. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.